New developments in the investigation into a 19-year-old man accused of killing his parents in Loomis. Earlier today, we got the criminal official complaint as those who knew the young man expressed their disbelief. The thought of him doing something to that magnitude never, ever crossed my mind, even anything that close to it. Tonight, we're learning more about the suspect, Dennis Lynch. He's still in the hospital after being shot by deputies as they say he ran from the crime scene. Now, one of his friends is speaking to KCRA 3 about what life was like inside the family home. KCRA 3's Melanie Wingo spoke with that person tonight. Melanie, did they say anything that something like this could ever happen? Well, I spoke with one of Dennis Lynch's high school friends and he talked about the challenges they both experienced as teenagers, but says he never could have imagined Dennis Lynch being capable of carrying out the crimes he's accused of committing, taking his parents' lives. Spencer Fenna remembers meeting Dennis Lynch the first day of his sophomore year at Del Oro High School, and they became fast friends. He was my best friend, my brother, family to me for almost five years. As high school kids often do, they spent hours each day hanging out, learning everything about each other. He protected me. He defended me. He loved me unconditionally. He never judged me for anything. Even getting to know each other's families. Spencer describing Dennis's mom, Kathy Lynch, as always hard at work. Every time I ever saw her, um, I mean, she was always had papers out, ready to go, computer, I mean, doing something. She was always doing something that had a, she had a big stack of paperwork next to her at all times. And his dad, Jerry Uphold, as warm and welcoming. When you think of a dad, that's a dad. I mean, let's go, let's go fishing, let's go camping, let's work on ATVs, let's talk about trucks. I mean, that was like the classic, fun, loving, let's go do something, dad. Hearing the news, his friend Dennis is now accused of killing his parents, stunned Spencer. The thought of him doing something to that magnitude never, ever crossed my mind. It's sh sh like just shell shocked me. I got a little sick to my stomach, like I got nauseous a little bit just because I'm, I'm really good friends with the parents as well. Spencer in disbelief that this could be true. Part of me is still in my mind just says Dennis didn't do this. There's no possible way this is he's this wrong place, wrong time sort of situation. Thinking about the struggles in high school, they both shared. One of the reasons why we, I think we bonded so well is because we were both victims of bullying for most of our lives. He, he endured I, so much. I mean, it was, it, it, it was, it just, it brings tears to my eyes, just that remembering the stuff that like he would tell me. Spencer now processing the gravity of the crime, having known all those involved, and the loss of a friend. It is totally a loss of a friend because the, the dentist that he is today is not the dentist I know. Spencer now lives near Modesto and the last time he spoke with Dennis was over social media direct message. The friends reminiscing about the good times they shared in high school. Now that was back in October, so it has been several months since their last communication. Golston. All right, Melanie, thank you.